Hey everyone, I'm Coach Donnie from Elevate Your Power Level. Watch my exciting highlights from my reaction to the first three episodes of Kuroko no Basket. You can watch the full reaction videos linked below and make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell for weekly anime reaction videos. All right, intro time. The cool music, the cool animations. Yeah, that's cool how the sweat comes together. So we already know the animation is pretty decent so far. Ooh, those panning ones, that's 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 always hard to do. You see how his eyes are moving, like he's tracking the defense of the players. Ooh, okay, we got some food. You know I love my food animation scenes. See how kind of the twig legs, I mean they are bobbing up and down, but it's not and a good running cycle. The arms aren't cycling with the legs. And some cool lighting. Of course, the fixing the glasses anime style. Ooh, that was a good fadeaway shot. Peace. A lot of scanning eyes in this one. I wonder if that's part of the style from this. But it's super fluid. I, I do like sports animated movements. It's so hard to do. Much harder than fighting, by the way, in my opinion. I've, I've animated both. Oh, alley oop. Slam dunk. The main character, that must be Kuroko. I just had a crazy idea that I didn't want to forget. What if they did an anime crossover where they had like a multi sports tournament where you feature the Haikyuu volleyball top teams and then the Kuroko top teams and just do some crossover where they interact with each other and maybe they play each other's sports. I think that would be pretty cool. And then we have Tanaka, gray hair Tanaka. <laughs> Takeda Sensei? That kind of looks like him. Is it just me or is that... Come on. The same hair come, coming down, all we need is some black glasses. Maybe this is just an older version of Takeda. This is like a halftime show with the fat bird. Nah, not this time. Sorry if I'm making all these Haikyuu references, that's just the most recent anime I've watched. Oh. Did he just strip it? Oh, hey, you're destroying him. <laughs> you know, this guy's, he, he seems, let me finish and see what, see what he says. Okay, he might seem like a mean guy, but it's very similar to Kageyama where he's got one goal. He's trying to play at the highest level possible and he's going to be honest with people. And here, he's just being direct, probably could say it in a nicer way, you can always make the argument. But he's not being deceitful, he's not being a douchebag. I think he's just thinking like, is this going to be my teammate? Or how are you going to help me accomplish my goal of being a champion? And he's actually trying to be helpful in his way, like in a way he knows how. Like you should quit basketball because you actually don't have any skills. And don't fool yourself, you know? Maybe he's got some Tai Chi stuff going. Did he even touch it? Oh! He's using his lack of presence to pass. Okay, to maybe be sneaky. Like maybe some Tai Chi, like flow of the ball. Misa direction. Oh, just sneaky. Okay, so maybe one on one, he's not gonna be destroying people. And she's a good coach because then she, she is able to observe and catch all this diversion. He's the invisible regular of Taiko Excel the passing. Okay. So he did have a reputation and he did contribute, not just some some random person that was on the team. Oh. Okay. I like how the camera is shaking up and down as oh, and he gets a block? Is he actually going to score a point? Does he have the physical skills to do it? No! <laughs> so maybe... But he had a little smirk. He probably knows that that's not his strength. 
I love the like the moment of impact when they're about to dunk and then you have all those white lines just going from the source of impact which is the ball at the rim and the lines quickly go out I mean I that never gets old I'm curious what her test is going to be all this build up Oh, okay, so making them do something just out of character. I like this. Strip naked. Wow, I like that. I mean, this is borderline hazing, but a test to show our, what are they willing to do to commit to an ultimate goal. Is he going to be the wild one because he's got the shaved head like a Yakuza? Ooh, and he's already talking about his backstory, sickly kid. <laughs> now he's proclaiming a whole, whole speech. <laughs> so they mean this was a bad idea for her. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Man, looking like a K-pop star. Should I start calling him K-pop too? Does he remember him? Okay, he does. Shows Kisei's got some good quality character. Doesn't brush off the six man and says hi to him. Oh. What a good friend. <laughs> He's crying already. Ooh, that's a cool picture of him. He's already so muscular. As a middle schooler. So he looks like he is authentically humble, not not trying to be fake humble. Oh, he's going to be challenged already. I love it. Yeah, right, he's always ready. He's going to whip off his clothes, he's going to have his gym clothes underneath. Come on, damn, playing in his dress clothes. It's a great way to get injured. Oh, juked him. Hey, he pulled the same move as he did. Oh, okay. So maybe he was already in the gym seeing the red hair guy, Kagami. Oh, does he block him? No, he finishes the dunk. Is he sick? Or, I don't think he's anxious. I don't think this is the type of player that would get nervous. He's like super alpha. Okay, he just probably didn't sleep from being so excited. Oh man, I still get like that. I'll be honest, even though I've been playing volleyball since I was 15, so I'm 37, so 22 years, I still get really anxious before volleyball tournaments. And even though I know I should get a full seven, eight hours of sleep, I'll physically go to bed, but I'll just be tossing and turning because I get too excited. And even though it's frustrating sometimes because you do want to be as well rested as possible for the game the next day, I'm starting to see it in a more positive light that I am still that excited to play volleyball even though I've been playing for over 20 years, so I can definitely understand where he's coming from. Oh, is this a player refing? <laughs> the sneakiness never gets old. Oh, whoa, Kuroko gets a steal. He is sneaky. Can he make the layup? Sneaky pass. So cool. Oh, dang, that was a sick pass. Whose eye is that? Oh, that's the coach analyzing his power level. 
<laughs> they should have a competition between Oikawa and Kisei, who can attract the most girls. Wouldn't that be a funny scene if Oikawa and Kisei just happened to be in the same building and they would have a competition of who could attract the most female fans? That would be a scene worth animating. Through the legs pass. Oh, and the slam dunk. Slam dunks never get old. Oh, wow. Let's watch that again. These passing sequences, they find a way to make it look like a ninja just swiping through. Like you see the streak of the ball and it's like a blue streak. If I, if I saw that correctly, it happens so fast. Let's watch it again. Yeah, it's like a white streak from Kuroko's pass. Is he gonna break it? This is a competition of who's gonna break the hoop. <laughs> I like how every point is only a slam dunk. That must be a rule in Japanese basketball. <laughs> only slam dunks. Man, the streaks of his passing. So cool. Another dunk, but he's gonna get blocked. Fade away! Oh, blocked by Kisei! Oh, but Kisei does a fadeaway right back in... Oh, okay, that's right, he was able to study him and copy him. Hmm. So he's apologizing for his physically weak state. Uh, get some more insight on Kuroko's ability to disappear and be sneaky. Misdirection of the ball. Yeah, I don't see any magic yet. Even Kisei said it's not magic. The more tired he gets. Oh, because people start to study his patterns. 